Hey guys, how's it going? Kermode here. In this video, I want to show you guys how I did vocal chopping in my track Here Today Gone Tomorrow. I've had a lot of people ask me how I do it, and although I've done a live stream on it in the past uh, up on my YouTube channel, I'm just going to do a tutorial specifically on this technique. So let's take a listen to the chorus. <laughs> So what you're going to need for this technique is a set of lungs, vocal cords, and ideally some sort of auto-tune or auto-tune-like software. And the thing I like about this is you get to use your own voice. Uh, in that case, I used a friend of mine's voice, uh, Monad Moon specifically. But you can easily do this with your own, and it doesn't sound half bad. So what you need to do is you need to grab auto-tune, or again, some sort of auto-tuning software. So in this case, I'm going to grab Auto-Tune Pro. And step one is going to be setting it to the key of the track where you're working on. So in this case, F major. From there, what you want to do is create a new track that is taking the input from your Auto-Tune track and your auto-tune track is going to take the input from your microphone. So in just a minute, what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop record, and I'm a horrible singer, uh, by the way, but you'll get to hear the auto-tune version, and I'm just going to try and like follow the chord progression and come up with ideas, and again, it's going to sound pretty bad, but the final product will probably sound pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is uh, turn off this microphone for you guys to hear me normally, and we'll turn on the auto-tune version. So let's do that. There we go. So now you can hear me auto tuned. And now what we're gonna do is sing along while I record. Let's do it. Da, 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 da. So that was kind of hard just because uh, Ableton was super latent heavy, uh, as in it was delayed. I didn't do it that long. I probably would have done this for quite a bit longer. But here comes step two. So step two is you actually want to quantize all of this. So what you do is you hit Command A to highlight all of this, Command Shift U to quantize. You pick a time. I like usually quick times, like 16th notes. And see, Ableton actually dropped little wart markers anytime it thought it heard a transient. Now, where this is really useful is if you go into forward-facing beats mode, what's going to happen is anytime the sound kind of stretched when it warped, there will be a little gap of time because it played it back at its original speed. This is going to be this is going to be really useful for chops. From here, you can also pitch things around if you want. Uh, I'm going to leave things in the current octave range. I am going to add maybe a little bit of OTT to kind of flatten things out because it looked a little too dynamic for my liking. A -E -I -O. But here, from now, we can grab different chunks and create patterns. So let's do that. Let's grab a little chunk. Maybe add a little fade. And with loop on, now we can scroll through our sample and pick different pieces. Oh, I kind of like that's kind of low. And notice how the little warping created that rhythmic chop for me. You can see we're starting to get a pattern out of hit this. Maybe what
what I'll do is actually create another layer and this one will make an octave up or we'll scroll through and see if we can get cool little harmonies or anything. <laughs> I like that. And there we go. I could obviously keep going. I could keep chopping, keep editing. But you can see you have this 100 unique, 100% 100 unique vocal chop that is 100% your own, your own voice. You have this extra connection to it because it's you and uh, it doesn't sound half bad. Obviously, that's very basic, but if you want to hear the full version of this technique used well, check out my track Here Today, Gone Tomorrow. It's off my Universe LP. I'll drop it in the description of this video. But there you go. That's another way you can do vocal chopping uh, with your production. I showed a different technique a little while back that I used in my track Resist, which is more about racks and actually kind of physically scrolling through samplers well this is actually chopping your own personal recording but what's cool about it is you kind of get the rhythm from the automatic quantized warping and that kind of warped to the auto tune pitching rhythmically so it's a it's a fun technique i like it. it's easy and it sounds really good so thanks again guys my name's Kermode. i hope you like this tutorial peace <laughs>